Hello everyone, it's Carputing. Sorry for the odd resolution. It's a 1050p monitor. Here's a video on how to make Windows 10 better. So to start, you're going to go to the settings menu here. You're going to go to ease of access. You're going to turn off animations and turn off transparency. Make sure scaling is at 100%. Go to personalization, go to colors, change this all to dark, scroll down, pick your favorite color, tick both of these. Sometimes this will glitch out and not work right. You may need to restart the PC if so. Go to the start option here, untick this, untick this, untick this. I'll go back here, go to search, I'll turn safe search off, toggle all these off here, and then go into privacy and toggle these all off here. Turn off inking and typing personalization, turn off activity history, go down to diagnostic feedback, change that to never, go to notifications, turn them off, account info off, contacts off, phone calls off, calendar off, call history off, email off, tasks off, messaging off, leave radios on, background apps, turn that off, go back here, go to system, go to power and sleep. Keep screen at your preference of when you want the screen off. I suggest turning sleep to never. Uh, go to notifications and actions. Untick all of these. Tick this off. Go to here. Type in system icon. And click on turn system icons on or off. Go to action center. Turn that off down there. And that will take care of that. Now you're going to right click on the taskbar. You're going to click off show task view button. Show Cortana button. Go to search. Click hidden. Now if you're looking for a program, you just click the start menu and you type in search. Now you're going to close that. This uh, script is in the description. Add or remove whatever you like or leave it as default. You're going to copy this script. It will remove the built-in uh, Windows 10 bloatware. Uh, right click on the start menu, click Power Windows PowerShell Admin, open this up, then simply just wait for it to start, and then right click. And once you right click, it'll paste the uh, script in and it will remove all of this bloatware here. So give it a minute, and then you will see it all disappearing. There's a lot of these you can't uninstall, like Get Help by default. Uh, this will uninstall it all. Uh, including the ones that doesn't let you like Microsoft Store that lets you unpin it but it is typically always installed same with the Xbox game bar your phone uh, but this should make a uh, quick work of all of that see your phone is gone now Microsoft Store is gone now this gives it a much more Windows 7 experience while this is doing its thing unpin everything from the start menu here Right click on OneDrive, click on install, as it's not an app, it's a program. Anyways, so with uh, OneDrive uninstalled, you're going to go back to the start menu, you're going to go into accessories, and you're going to open uh, Internet Explorer. You're going to don't use recommended settings, click OK, go to the address bar, just type in add duck duck go space IE 11, just like that. Click on the DuckDuckGo link, scroll down, add DuckDuckGo as a search engine, add, come up here, internet options, change the homepage to HTTPS, start DuckDuckGo.com. If uh, you prefer Google, you can use Google, but DuckDuckGo is basically the same, very slightly worse, although it doesn't track you. It's I prefer it overall. Here, you're going to go to this menu, you're going to uncheck that, you're going to check uh, this here, and you're going to change this to open to your first homepage, just like that there. You're going to select delete browsing history on exit, go to settings, I'll click every time I visit this page, it's going to load a new version instead of caching things, and you're going to disallow caches and databases. You're going to click apply, then you're going to go to content over here, autocomplete, and you're going to untick everything. Then you're going to go to feeds and web slices, and you're going to untick everything. Then we're going to go to a, a programs, we're going to go to manage add-ons, search providers, DuckDuckGo set as default, and we're going to remove Bing. Then we're going to full screen this, right click on an empty region in the tab area, and uh, uncheck show tabs on a separate row. Now we're going to go into Microsoft Edge. While that's doing its thing, you're going to press the start menu, type in CMD, right click, pin it to the taskbar. Then you're just going to right click, right click on it again here, properties. Then you're going to go to font, change it to MS Gothic, go to colors, click on screen text, click on this green over here, click apply, press OK. That way when you open uh, CMD, it just looks all hacker man. Unpin that, close that, you're good. Click get started, click focus, click confirm, click close. It's going to open a new tab, open another one. Click on this uh, gear icon, go to custom, turn off quick links, turn off headings, go back, go to advanced, uh, and turn off new tab tips. Now you're going to 
go click on the dot 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 go to settings I'm gonna change this to your name here click dot 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 edit change it to your name pick yourself a friendly little icon click update and you can uh, make it so it doesn't save passwords since uh, anyone that can plug a USB into your computer can grab the password saved to an internet browser. Once that's all set up there and you turn off passwords, payment info, addresses, so none of them are saved, you're going to go to privacy and services. You're going to click send do not track requests. You're going to disallow sites to check if you have payment methods saved. You're going to go to address bar, change Bing to DuckDuckGo and search box to address bar. Then appearance, you're going to change uh, system default to dark. Startup's fine. You're going to go down to continue running background apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. You're going to untick that. You're going to go up to the search bar and you're going to type in uBlock Origin Chrome. Now you can install any Chrome app on Microsoft Edge. So we're going to install uBlock Origin which will give us no advertisements online. Now that that's all good we can uh, close that, reopen it once more. It should just give us a basic page. I'm going to press Control Shift and B to hide the favorites bar. Control Shift B can open and close it on demand and now I'm going to go download Firefox. Firefox is my preferred browser of choice just because there's less tracking in the browser once it's configured as we'll have it. But Microsoft Edge works too. Not all websites work in Edge, not all work in Explorer, not all work in Firefox. So it's good to usually have these three browsers. Having Google Chrome is completely unnecessary at this point with uh, Microsoft Edge functioning exactly as uh, Chrome does. Uh, so I'm going to let that install. I can close that. Close all this background stuff we have here. Firefox should open. Now we're going to just simply close Firefox right away, untick warn me about multiple tabs, and then reopen Firefox. This is going to install the pocket add-on that is not installed on the first run. You're going to change Firefox to your default browser if you'd like, I would suggest it. Then you're going to open Microsoft Edge and deselect the prompt to set it as your default. I'm going to move Firefox down to the left of the taskbar, pin it there, open it again, click on the gear icon up in the top right, and we're going to untick everything here. Now you're going to go to search, change Google to DuckDuckGo, that's all good. Always send a do not track request, uncheck save logins and passwords. We're going to scroll down and uncheck a data collection and use. Now you're going to go up here and you're going to type in uBlock Origin Firefox. Now you're going to get it and add to Firefox and add and allow in private browsing. And then we're going to click this little uh, star icon up here, change other bookmarks to bookmarks toolbar, click cancel, and then delete getting started. That is the quickest way I know to bring up the favorites bar in Mozilla Firefox, which is what I use primarily. So then you can simply just add your favorite websites. You can go to Facebook, you can go to fb.com, it'll redirect you to Facebook, just add that there, go to YouTube, add that there. Now you're uh, going to go back to the settings panel here, uh, you're going to go to update and security, and you're just going to check for updates. Windows 10 is very quirky how it handles updates, so just check for them regularly. They don't typically install properly, and typically after you reboot it may prompt for more updates. So just check for that, they're uh, releasing lots of updates. Install Java also, let's go to java.com, and Java is used for a lot of computer programs. So it's just something I suggest having installed on all computers. So we're going to install that. So also you're going to open the file explorer here. You're going to right click on quick access, click options, change uh, open the file explorer to quick access. You can change that to PC. You're going to uncheck show frequently used folders and quick access, click apply, close that. Now when you go to here, it should uh should be better. Uh, videos isn't here, so I'm going to add videos down there, and then it's good. So we're going to install Java here. And then if uh, you would like a free PDF reader, I suggest Adobe Reader. I'm not going to install it, but it's a very, very straightforward install. Just click the installer and uh, download it from Adobe, get.adobe.com, click the installer, you're good to go, then you can read PDF files. Just uh, don't take any optional offers. It's all scams. Let Java install. 
and then you're good to go. Uh, and that concludes how to make Windows 10 much more functional. So what we did mainly is we turned off animations. So instead of this popping up, it will open instantly. Same with the browsers and stuff. Instead of popping up, this will just open instantly. Uh, we configured the browsers so they don't go to any annoying websites, all three of them, including Internet Explorer, just in case you ever have to use it. Another thing you can do is click over here, go to themes, and change this to uh, terminal. That just gives that a dark theme too. It's nice to full screen all that stuff.